Okay, so we're standing inside Brosco Mall here in Habarovsk and we're in a beer section. So I'm gonna take you through and show you the wide selection that they have and I will tell you what they are in Canadian prices. So let's start with our first one. I'm looking at this 333, which is the Cambodian. It works out to be about $2 a can. A Vietnamese Saigon beer, the Saigon special is $2.30. The Harbin beer here is $1.80 a bottle Canadian. Walking further back, Ching Tao. The Ching Tao beer that uh, everybody likes, it's a little bit pricey, but still $3 per can. Moving further back, we got the Chang beer and the Singa beer, which is from Thailand. It is on sale for two dollars a can um moving on moving on what do we have here singa okay we're moving into the european beers and where can we find polliner here we go the polliner is it's about 460. it's uh, a little bit pricey even in Korean but let's go further back what do we have oh here's a Bex a Bex for three dollars a can and we have Corona on sale and it is about two dollars and forty cents a bottle moving further down we got the Czech Budweiser Czech Budweiser is about 480 per per bottle. Moving further back. And what else do we have here? Oh we have Whole Garden. And it looks like the Whole Garden is on sale. Yes it is. The Whole Garden grapefruit flavor, $1.40 a bottle. So that's a good deal. And let's go to this side. So we have the domestic right here. Uh, domestic Zhugulovske, which is a very, very good beer. So you want to go domestic, you can get 1.2 liters for $2.10 Canadian. Uh, here's a good one. This is a Teke Goose. is about $2.80 for uh, about 1.6 liters. Sorry. 1.4 liters. Uh, Tuberg, the Tuberg, the one that they sell at the KFC and at the Burger Kings, where well, you can buy the whole bottle for $4. Uh, it is one and a half liters. And here we have other beers, which is the Pšenička. So this is sort of your live beer, the unpasteurized. And, but the unpasteurized beer is about 350. And we have more. Le Drusier for friends. So for three bucks, you get uh, one mini. So it's one and a half liters for three bucks. Okay, moving down. Ah, here we go. There's a Baltic A9. It's a very strong beer, so it's $1.80. So usually you want to go with a Baltic A7. Baltic A9 is a little bit pricey. Let's go back over here because I missed it. Here is our Baltic A7. So once again, we're going to be looking at around $3 for this bad boy. Uh, 1.3 liter. Okay. Uh, let's walk around the corner for a minute. Brahma. This Brahma beer, which is your Brazilian beer, we're looking at $1.40 a bottle. So that's not bad. And of course, if you want a Guinness Smooth Stout, looks like it's on sale for $1.40 a bottle. Uh, let's walk around. Hard alcohol on this side. So 
and 60 cents so that's actually a good price uh, Russian standard Russian standard vodka is about nine dollars for this bottle that's another decent price but my eye just caught some Bacardi let's go over here okay so this is where we get into the more pricier so I can buy a Bacardi the big bottle for Eh, 40 bucks. Okay, what other do we have? Ah, uh, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, you're a 750 mil for $22. Captain Morgan, moving on. Do you have anything here? Ah, uh, uh, here we go, tequila. That's Lopez. 50 bucks. 50 bucks for Pepe Lopez. Okay. Let's see. Anything on this side? Uh, nope. Come on with me. Let's, It's about $56. A little bit pricey. Cutty Sark. The Jameson. The Jameson is $42. Cutty Sark is $40. Johnny Walker Red Label. $30. Uh, the Jameson. Did I go through it? I guess I'll go through it again. $42. Okay, anything on this side? Mm -hmm. Check it out. So, as you can see, you can spend all day, all night walking through, checking the prices out. And um, there's no shortage of alcohol here. Uh, you've got the imports, you've got the domestics, you got domestic beer, you have the imported beer. You know what? Next time you're in Habatovsk, come on down and maybe we'll go and pound a few back. Oh, I see absolute vodka.